Mr. Mr. Boosted over here. All right, it's about 10 years later, and this thing still can't, still can't get this thing off. Still stuck. Still stuck. Josh brought his Milwaukee, and I go in front, this thing put it in pain, way better than what I got, but still can't get this damn thing off. Um, I just need something that's just like, I, you know what, I need one of those freaking cone looking ones. Or an extractor. Or, yeah, an extractor, hell yeah. My mirror is so dirty, but I'm here with my guy Josh. We just gonna drive, cruise around. We chilling. Out here enjoying the night. My guy Josh. I hear Snoopy Rumble back there. Got the get the K boys out here. He says, Sheesh. It's the next day. Um Josh drill. We try using it. We try to use different bits. Still couldn't get it off. So we are gonna to head to Kendall's. I got work today at 11, it's 8.16 right now. And if I can't get this done today, at least the fronts, then the car's gonna to have to stay in the garage and we're gonna to have to just use belly as my daily go to work. I kinda of don't want to, but when I'm in this car, I usually don't use the AC because my AC is weak. I mean, it works, but it's so weak. So I just don't even use the AC in this car. So I would drive around literally with no AC when I'm driving this car. I want to inspect this car and put this one on jacks and make sure it's good because there's a, um, a meet coming up. It's like a car cruise. And I just want to make sure everything's Gucci with belly for the car cruise. And there's something I got for her that I actually want to install. Low car problems. There's something I got for her that I want to install and before the meet. So hopefully we can get Onyx back on her feet with the new brakes, and then that way I can have uh, belly under the knife. Make sure she So I'm gonna pick this back up once I'm back at the crib, and let's see if we can get these damn rotors off the damn car and get the new ones on. YouTube. So I've been made it back from Kendall's shop. I borrowed, um, he pretty much gave me another impact wrench, but this one's a lot better. So this is the one he let me borrow, and it's kind of similar to the ones we got, but it's a lot nicer. See, so it come with more bits. The way how I got these, um, the stupid screw that got stripped, the way how I got them out, I took another um, bolt, and you see how these two holes are empty? So there's nothing under there but the, um, the whatchamacallit itself. Look at this. So I took this bolt and impacted it in, and it, and then I guess the head was so weak because we drilled in it so much, popped off and popped off. Now what I did though, because I didn't want to get hit, I took the, I stand up here and, and this is mad ghetto. I wouldn't even recommend doing this, but I just kind of, <laughs> ping, thing flew off, ping, thing flew off. And look, the, the top freaking flew over here. One is right here. I highly don't recommend this, but look, I freaking destroyed that thing and then popped that bad boy off. So, yeah, finally getting this damn thing off. And I gotta be at work at, excuse me, I gotta get ready in a half an hour. At least I can take this off. Thank God, oh my goodness. Just like that, that piece of crap is off. Oh my goodness. Look at this thing. Thing stuck in there, son. That thing is bolted and popped both of them off. So I'm gonna see if I can take these off. If I can't take these off, whatever. New rotor is getting slapped on. That's crazy. Dead guy think outside the box. Especially when you run out of time and this thing has been going on for a, a day and a half now. Well not a day and a half, but it's about to be a day and a half. And I don't know, I was trying everything, drilling. Bruh, look, 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 I got the sledgehammer out. Like I was, bruh. Oh my God, all right, I'm gonna get off camera, help him put a new one on and try to slap the front wheel on. I'm gonna at least do the front for right now. And then I may just do the rears another time, but thank God. I'm telling you, this video is going on forever. So I'm at work and uh, this, I'm gonna tell you guys why I need this. I'll show you when I get home. I borrowed this from my guy Josh uh, at my other Josh. Another Josh that was in this video. Another Josh at my job. Just got off work. It's about like eight something at night. And we said, we out here still grinding. We doing what we gotta do. So the reason why I need that brolic behind pliers that you saw I had there, because I was able to put the new rotor on. 
I still gotta clean it up again because my dirty hands. But yeah, I greased up all the calipers, the calipers. I greased up the the outside of the brakes, and everything was good. But the caliper itself, the piston, I gotta push it in so it can clear this. And I didn't have a tool to push it in. That's why this is gonna come in handy. So I'm actually gonna. I'm tired. I kind of just want to knock this out. So. I'm going to just see if I can finish this off camera, knock this out, yada, yada, yada. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do the rears tonight. I may just do the fronts for right now. Maybe do the rears another time. I kind of want to put everything on at the same time. That way they wear evenly, but um, you know, I don't even know if I'm ready for the rears. I may attempt it, but we'll see. Looks like we're going to attempt to do the backs. <sighs> All right, wish me luck. Crazy doing this so late, but you know what it is. What it is, gotta get done. 9.30. I ain't gonna front. I'm not even about to do these right now. I think what I'm gonna do is, we got the fronts on, so I think I'm gonna focus on that and do these rears another time. Maybe like my next day off or something like that because if I do this right now, I'm gonna be here all night. So I'm gonna pop the glue back on. These are how the, um, the screws are. And I know not to strip these damn things. So I have the impact, I have my own impact wrench. So I'm gonna get back Kendall's. And I'm gonna use mine and get these off because I'm not trying to go through what I went through before. So yeah, so that's pretty much the game plan what we're gonna do right now. Appreciate you guys for following me for this whole process. This little two hour job should not take a day and a half. Actually two days, pretty much. Yeah, two days. I'm gonna go do some um, braking, the front brakes and do some hard braking. Make sure, you know, everything is good. <clears throat> Shout out to everyone that lent me a tool. Literally, I have like three tools in here I borrowed from like three different people. I got Josh's drill, I got Kendall's impact driver, and I got um, Josh's, my the other Josh is a uh, prior. This thing compressed those calipers like nothing. But yeah, the rear brakes, yeah, look at that. The rear pad got some, got some meat on it. Got some meat on it, so I'm, I mean, Realistically, I don't even need to do these rears, but just because I really need to do the fronts, I have to do the rears. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. Cause like even these rotors, these rotors are not that bad. They're all surface rusted stuff, but they're really not that bad. These screws though, I got something for these. I ain't messing with you guys again. It's the next morning and we got belly back then. Old rotors right there. Damn, yo, this. Car's beautiful, man. I don't know why people hate FG2s. FG2s are beautiful. Even though it's a little bit of a jelly bean, it's a beautiful car. So yeah, we got the brakes on. I'm actually carrying up the garbage real fast before. Oh, I think the, I think the garbage truck is coming. I was going to go ahead and uh, do the rears last night, but thank God I didn't. I'm just too tired, right? No, one, no one's not trying to do that right now. So it is the next day. And what I think I'm gonna do with the rears is I think I'm just gonna have somebody else do it because it's fun working on your car in your garage and yada yada. Oh yeah, see the garbage truck was coming. Just made it. It's different when you record and work on your car by yourself. Like it's just too time consuming. I go in front, they look fire brand new like that. They look clean. See New York? They have a second garbage guy, he jump out and throw it in the garbage. Nah, uh -huh. right here, truck does it for you. So yeah, so last night, um, when I done installed the boat fronts, I went on, you know, I went over like 30 miles per hour, hard braking, hard braking, hard braking. Everything feels good, everything sounds good. The new rotors look so cool. But yeah, I was dead about to do the rears, but I don't know how long that would even took me. That would took me forever. And I was tired last night. It's been three, technically two and a, it's been two days, technically. But um, today's like the third day I'm still making this video. So yeah, so I may get the rears done somewhere because I'm not even trying to deal with it right now. Like I said, it's a daily. The main reason to that is I don't want to drive this car. Like I want this car to, to sit in here and I, yo, she looks so good. Damn, she's good. She have a lot of, you know, like the bumper clip broken and stuff like that, but she looks good. But yeah, I want to work on her and get her ready for the cruise kind of, like I said before. And this one, this one just, I just needed just, just, just to drive and that's it. Like this, she's a daily, 
And it already sucks that I'm gonna get rid of her because I will keep this thing forever, to be honest. Onyx needs a nice detail. Okay, this thing got built-in garage openers. Like, this thing is like super nice. This is a nice behind car. I'm sure the next owner is going to enjoy this thing and love this thing as much as I did. But yeah, I need to clean this car up. We're gonna do a nice little detail one of these days. Brakes just feel good. Um, the road test is when I get on the highway and brake and see the front start, you know, feeling like this when I'm braking. That's the only issue I have with this car was that. And then there's little things I still need to do, like the tire pressure. Um, tire monitor, any new tire pressure monitors. That's why you will see that light on my dash. And uh, I think that's it, man. It really don't need much. So I'm gonna head to work, end the video here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Once I do the rears, I'll let you guys know. I won't take too long because I kind of don't want the front just to wear by itself and then the rears going. So this month, definitely, I want to do the rears. But um, yeah, see you guys in the next video.